Hey everyone, quick update on some things I've been working on and some things that have been taking a little bit longer than I thought because uh, I thought to just make a system out of everything. Um, and then that's led to some design tweaks and some changes to allow compatibility um, all over the place. Um, and I'll show you some of that in a moment. Uh, before I get into the all this fun gear here, let me just update everyone on the MRBP, the Polaroid back. So um, this is not something that I'm going to end up offering um, for production. I've actually taken my store down. Um, I've probably got, I've been telling people everywhere this, but it's true. I've, I've got about a two year waiting list right now just for friends um, and, you know, close customers that want some of this stuff too and, and other things that I've made, but just more customized stuff. So that's going to be keeping me busy for a while, but I am trying to get others to make them for their friends at least. Um, you know, every year more and more people are getting 3D printers. So um, for those that have been to Policon, you know, that's what I'm basically talking about these days is find somebody that has a 3D printer or find a 3D printer uh, for yourself and then get into making some of this stuff. So this is the latest MRBP, the Mario RB Polaroid back um, and what I'm calling the MRBP Z reason, uh, version because uh, Zane Pollard help me out so the z gets in there for him a little tribute there um, he came up with this part of it so pretty important having a frame counter and um, voltage meter so you know how how low your battery is so that works pretty well um, this latest version also adds a cold shoe which i'll demo in a moment um, and then some um, tripod sockets here uh, but everything else is the same slight redesign on the back is coming up soon um, I'm adding more of a, a hidden uh, slot for the strap so that there's no this little kind of, you know, problematic way of latching it. It's just going to be slided in and, you know, it'll be, it'll hold pretty tight. So, yeah, so let's, let's get this out of the way. But um, these over here are meant for like a grip. There's lots of these style of grips. This one I modified and made myself. So files will be available for this too, but you know I'm not going to put it all the way. But essentially, you've got a grip there. Um, you could put in your viewfinder right up there, like so, and then there'll be cones that you can just attach and slide onto the body. Um, and then there'll be a lock over here to lock the cone too, so it doesn't slide off of your camera. So you could turn this uh, Polaroid back, designed for the RB67 primarily. Um, and then go and start using it with a whole other ecosystem of things. And this could be a nice zone camera for you if you don't feel like shooting SLR um, and want something a little bit lighter. Throw uh, the Mamiya Press Cone and then the Pancake 65 millimeter on there too if you wanna do some street shooting on Polaroid. Um, and yeah, so that's that system. Let me turn this off and let's get into the Graphlex RB over here because if we're going to make this back for an RB67 then we might as well make it for a Graphlex RB too so how are we going to do that so there's a plate that goes on to this like so it's all going to attach very similarly those little keyholes and you slot it down and this one will have a lock on this side too to lock it onto here and similar to this type of lock that locks it onto the body over here. So the thinking is for all the backs that you need to use on this Graflex RB, you're just going to change the adapter and that's going to make you just be able to use all different kinds of backs. And they're all strategically spaced at the same distance. So you just use one ground glass position with a very small exception that is totally optional if you want, um, not, ne not necessary. You can utilize this whole system that I'm uh, co-designing for this thing with, um, also with Zane, uh, called the ZMLR. You'll be able to use a few different backs with it. So th this is the Polaroid one. So let me show you how it works. Right now I've got the back cover on here. So I'll pull that off. That's magnetic. This doesn't have to be magnetic, but it is optionally magnetic. It slides on. And then I lock it on on the other side so it... It's not going anywhere. So in that configuration, I've now got uh, a Graflex RB that shoots Polaroid. All right, um, let me show you the ground glass. I've added this top here called the Sambrero. It opens out 
it comes out if you need to if you need to access or clean or whatever pops right back in and then for the moment i am using um, a focusing hood for graphics cameras but i'll probably make my own with some sort of origami leather material in there there's a few open source designs out there right now that could be adapted so um, that's probably what i'll be working on next but for now you've got this option and this custom magnifier holder as well so you can do some more precise focusing when you're done with it just tuck it away so let's unlock it and let's uh, go through some of the other bags that there are um, actually let me finish with the MRBP um, so you saw this for this camera what if you have another 4x5 like a speed graphic or something like that pacemaker then you'd use something like this so you can have it in the landscape mode or you can have it in the panorama mode and that's it you slide it on there and now this is ready to go onto a 4x5 camera of your choosing all right so let's leave that guy right there all right so um, another thing that happened that required some sort of harmonization is um, the 3x4 typically crops on 4x5 film. Um, there's lots of different adapters out there to uh, minimize the crop or center it or treat it in different ways. Um, I wanted it completely gone and I didn't want to have to get something bigger than a 4x5. This barely fits into my favorite shoulder bag and some of my other bags. Um, I've tried carrying a 4x5 in there and it's just a little bit bigger enough than this one that it just doesn't work for me for travel. And I'm, I wouldn't want a 4x5 just for, you know, my house, my, my office or my studio. Um, I'd want to take this thing out and about and shoot SLR out in the world with it. So that means having to have this chunky adapter that pushes out the film plane enough so that you get full coverage at about a 12 to 15 foot uh, focusing distance. So I'm going to put this on backwards. Usually the right way is this way. Um, but I've made it so that you can rotate it all four ways. And so we lock it there. So you could see from the front side, it locks, there's a lock slot on both sides for that reason. So yeah, in this configuration, we're ready to shoot four by five. Right now I've got the peels on there, but you could use a spring back. You could put in a Lomo graph lock. Um, it's pretty versatile as far as the four by five backs go. All right, if I don't want that at the moment, I can take that out. And then, you know, everybody loves shooting the Lomo Graph Lock on 4x5, so. All right, and there you go. If you want the eject on this side, you know, or this is a good example of one where you can use it in landscape mode like so. All right, so one of the updates I'm working on is just to have a lock so that it locks on all sides um, so that it works a little bit better. So keep an eye out on that uh, for the final version. And let's um, pop that back off. So that's the Lomo Graph Lock thinner adapter. And you can see that you, because of the Lomo Graph Lock is why everything has to get pushed. So just so this can have the same film plane as this, you see the much thicker adapter there that's needed um, to match the Lomo Graph Lock and to still allow enough room for these screws to go in there. So it's pretty tight, but that's as far forward as I can get it at the moment. Um, if you wanna keep it aligned to the MRVP and the Lomo Graph Lock, well, let's say there comes a time where you just you're not going to be shooting those you know or maybe you are you've got a big enough bag um, but you want it to be a little bit shorter in the back as short as possible and maybe you're using a lens uh, with pushing the film plane out so far back um, you do become a lot more limited into what lenses you could use um, our current guesstimation is about 180 to you know 210 200 something 240 maybe 
uh, millimeter, but um, at the widest, 180 for sure. Um, some 178s might make it, um, but for this one, this will help out those 178s um, if you got a few of those type of lenses. And it does, it is a much shorter, uh, just what do you call it, offset for the film plane. So, and this allows me to shoot shorter in. And then there is a shim that is in here that I would remove. Now you have a second position for your ground glass. So now we've got our ground glass to match this side and we're ready to go. So if I need to go back to the Lomograph lock or the 4x5 at full coverage or the um, MRBP, then I would need to put that shim right back in. So yeah, there you have it. That's what I've been working on. Um, we'll let you know soon what are going to be the options. This, I might temporarily do a retrofit service. You're going to have to send your camera in. There's only That's the only way to do it. Um, we might release files to the most knowledgeable of folks out there. Um, this is not really going to be meant for somebody that's never worked on these because you are going to have a ton of questions. Um, so... It's really best if you get this made with somebody who's going to be able to print the files for you and then know their way about around um, working with these cameras, especially the wood. You, know, you should really know what you're doing when you're screwing into wood and how to fix wooden holes because a lot of these sometimes require that. Um, so it's not going to be as straightforward as modifying a metal camera or a plastic camera, a, a new, newer plastic camera, for example. So keep that in mind. Anyway, if you have any questions, send me a message um, or drop a comment. And yep, stay tuned for this mod coming soon. ZMLR and MRBPZ.